Hi everyone. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about hotkeys. Um, what is a hotkey or shortcut? A hotkey, also referred to as a keyboard shortcut, um, triggers an action by using specific specific uh, keys on the keyboard. These specific options make using a, a PC more efficient and allow you to easily perform a task. These hotkeys require the control or command key, depending on which computer you're using. Uh, so you need a control key for Windows, command key for Mac, and, and they can also be found on the left-hand side, as you can see in the picture um, below. This keyboard might be smaller or a different layout than your computer, but each one will always have a control, a control key. You should be able to use either control key, but just in case, use the left one. You're going to use the control key and then push whatever key you're going to use. For example, if I was to copy, I'd click control and then C. Most of the shortcuts we'll list today are for Windows or PC computers. Though, a lot of these um, methods, you just have to swap, swap it out and use the command key instead of the control key though certain shortcuts do not work that same way. General keyboard shortcuts. These work across most applications such as Microsoft Office and Windows. Copying a word, paragraph, or picture can be done by simultaneously clicking the control key and the C. This will copy whatever, um, whatever you had selected so you can put it into a different spot. For example, uh, if you're copying a file, copying a file, you can paste it in another in another folder, for example. Next, for pasting, after you copied it, if you want to paste it, you're going to use the control and the control key plus V. Selecting, selecting is easy to do, and it's Control A. This selects everything on the screen, so then so then you can easily copy it, or you can or or you can move it to somewhere else if it's a document or file. Cutting. If you accidentally place something or if it's in the wrong spot, you can cut out the object by selecting it and, and selecting Control and X. This will delete the item, but, but you can also copy it if you wish to paste it somewhere else. To, to save an open document, you're going to use Control and then S. This saves your work. For example, if you're trying to save a Word document. Undo. We, we all make mistakes, whether it be writing or, or for just typing, for example. If you want to undo your mistake, all you're going to do is you're going to tap the Control button plus Z or Z. Printing. Do you want to print a document or a file? Tap Control plus P to print. Opening and closing. Do you want to open and if you want to open and close a window, for example, if you want to open a new window, you're going to click the Control key plus N. But if you want to close it, you have to use Control and W. Closing your document will will first ask you to save it in most applications to ensure that you don't lose your your data. Control Alt Delete. This is helpful um, to be able to restart your computer. So use Windows Security, close all the programs you're using, or um, you can also use it to get into um, Windows recovery mode as well, if you're ever doing recovery methods. Web browser shortcuts. These are shortcuts that, that most likely only work or the or how they work is only useful in Microsoft um, Edge or Chrome or whatever web browser you use. Refreshing the page. By pressing Control and F5, you can easily refresh the page without moving the mouse. If this doesn't work because of your type of computer, you can click Control and R. Zooming in and out. If something is too small, you can zoom in by selecting Control and Plus. To zoom out um, to the original size, select Control and minus. You can continuously zoom in or zoom out to find your ideal size on the page. 
switching your tab, you can switch your tab by selecting Control plus Tab. So then you can switch between the different pages you're on, pages or tabs you have open or available. Op opening a closed tab. If you recently closed a tab, you're going to have and want to reopen it, you're going to select Control Shift and then T to open it. Creating a bookmark. If you want to create a bookmark, you're going to select Control and D. Do you want to use Microsoft Word with shortcuts? There's many that are useful in Microsoft Word. Um, if you want to bold, um, underline, or italicize your text, you can easily um, just take the first letter of what you're trying to do. For example, if you want to bold your text, you're going to tap Control and B. Or for underline, you're going to click Control and U. And the easy way I used to remember it is the first letter of those words, you just take it and then you use the control key with that letter. Left and right aligning. If you want to align your, your items, what you're going to do is you're either going to select control L to align to the left, or if you want to align to the right, you're going to tap control R. Centering and justifying. To align your paragraphs in the center, select Control and E. To justify or align your paragraph, sorry, to um, justify or align your paragraph, it means that it's aligned on both the left and right side, select Control and J. Hitting the hotkey twice for right, justify, center, and align. We'll switch your writing back to left alignment. A hyperlink. A hyperlink is a link to a website. For example, google.com. This is a this is a web a hyperlink that we use every day to search the internet. Um, if you want to create a new hyperlink, you're going to select control and K in in Microsoft uh, uh, Edge, sorry. Window shortcuts. If you're doing anything with Windows itself, which means the operating system start or just searching in the operating system, these shortcuts are for you. The Windows key. The Windows key is a standardized key on most keyboards that use a Windows operating system. It is labeled with the Windows logo and is usually placed somewhere between the control and alt keys on the left side of the keyboard. Know that these commands do not normally help with Mac. Mac has a specific type of them for using on a Mac PC, but most of the other shortcuts we showed before can be used on both. If you want to show your desktop in Windows, you're going to use the Windows key plus D. By selecting this, it closes your desktop um, by bringing you back to your open tab. Lock your computer. If you want to lock your computer with ease without having to touch 100 buttons, you're just going to tap the Windows key plus L. So then, so if someone was right beside your computer, they would have to have your password to, to go look at it. File Explorer. If you want to open a document or file, you're going to select Windows, the Windows key plus E to open your file search. Four more. These keyboard shortcuts can help you navigate your computer faster and more efficiently. If you're interested in learning about more shortcuts that were discussed today, you can go to the link below 